You know, because of the pandemic, a lot of us have fewer options if we'd like to go out to eat. A lot of restaurants that closed did so for good. In fact, a report shows more than a tenth of them nationally are not going to reopen. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live in downtown Raleigh. Bridget, how do we compare to this national number? Well, Angela, Rob, the pandemic shut down hundreds of restaurants in Wake County, including what used to be Jose and Sons right here in downtown Raleigh. And although they are starting to come back, I found out they're coming back slower than the national trend. You've heard the term army brat. I grew up kind of as a restaurant brat. Charlie Ibarra says his childhood consisted of dodging trays in the kitchen and seating guests at his dad's restaurant, El Rodeo. A lot of memories here. All my siblings kind of at one point or another were involved here, as was my mom and dad. He went on to combine his Mexican heritage and southern roots to open Jose and Sons. It became a hit in downtown Raleigh and grew with the warehouse district for seven years. That is, until COVID hit. We would love being part of that neighborhood. But, you know, we had to make some tough decisions during the pandemic last year. They're one of 859 restaurants in Wake County that closed between March 2020 and May of this year. 632 of those restaurants have since reopened, meaning 26% are still closed. The most dramatic data is the closures uh, that were a result of the COVID pandemic this year. Wake County experts say restaurants closed at more than twice the average rate last year than in years past. But new ones are opening at a similar rate than years prior, about one a month. We saw a, a fairly strong resurgence of restaurants reopening um, in the last six months. Jose and Sons included. About six and a half months ago, Ibarra opened at a new location, the same spot where his dad's restaurant El Rodeo once was. The name Jose and Sons actually found its home at my dad's first restaurant. Now they're bouncing back in a new place, but one that's been part of Ibarra's life all along. Yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, meaningful memories here. It's been a very tough year for everybody, but we're, like I said, we're so grateful to be back in this position now. And as for their former location downtown here, you can see it's now actually going to open up as a venue space. And even though 26% of those restaurants that closed during the pandemic are still closed, that does not mean they can't reopen. They have a year to do so since closing. Reporting live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.